Hey guys, it's Jason from Gardening with Jason. Um, figured I'd step out front and bring you a little garden tour while the garden's looking, um, I'd say pretty close to at its best right now. Uh, we just had a big rainstorm last night, a couple of them with some wind. Um, so a lot of the plants might be wind blown this morning, but um, peeking out my window, it looked like things were uh, holding up pretty well. So um, I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'll take you through the garden. Thanks for joining me. Okay guys, so here's a, an overview of the garden. Um, like I said, things have really started filling in this season and I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now currently. Um, like I said, a lot of things are windblown, especially these maiden pinks down here. The snow in summer's done for the season. I need to uh, go and cut that back as well. But yeah, so uh, join me here and I'll take you through the garden. So here's the uh, azaleas, they're done blooming, but that I brought to you um, in the last video. But my uh, superstar plant right now that I, one of my favorites is Spigelia marylandica. And I have three different varieties. I have the native Spigelia marylandica. I also have a uh, little redhead, but this one right here is um, Walter Gar Walter's Gardens version. Um, called uh, Raging Cajun. I'm just gonna go through and kind of hit the highlights of what's um, looking good, blooming. Um, a bunch of Stella de Oro day lilies with a uh, gold flame spirea. I won't be stepping into the garden beds today because of all the rain we had last night. I don't want to be trampling through the dirt there. The uh, highlights I provide is still looking good. The uh, variegated Lazamachia is looking good, getting ready to bloom. Couple little yellow blooms on it here and there. Like I said, the snow in summer is done. I'll, I'll probably go and collect a little bit of seed off of it this year so I can start some from seed for next year um, to sell in my uh, garden plant sale um, during the garage sale weekend. The uh, laced up black elderberry is doing very good this year. Uh, it's pretty much done blooming it looks like. The pensamon I started from seed is um, at its prime right now. Ignore the alliums, I gotta cut them back as well. Something's going on with my mini roses this year. They're defoliating, plus they haven't produced very many blooms. So I'm thinking I might end up getting rid of these. These guys, um, I didn't really care for them in the first place once I got them planted and saw the blooms on them and everything. So I just wasn't a fan, but yeah, they're not doing anything this year. Last year they looked pretty good. The wind's still blowing a little bit. It looks beautiful with the pencil and blowing in the breeze. The Golden Falls red bud's still doing really good. It's full of foliage. Looks good with that pencil beside it. 
I spilled wine while Gila did flower earlier in the season, but now I've got some daylilies starting to bloom. I can't remember what variety some of these are. I bought several of them in a Sam's Club pack. Sam's Club variety pack. Got some more penstemon. This Black Tower elderberry is looking really good. It bloomed wonderfully for me earlier in the season. But the blooms are starting to fade. Pretty soon it'll be hydrangea season. I've got a lot of them um, looking pretty good right now. So I'm very excited for hydrangeas. Here's my so-called Zephyrin Druin rose, which I know is not a Zephyrin Druin. Um, I bought it at Home Depot in a uh, little starter pack, but I'll keep it. I mean, I like it for now. We'll see what it does. I don't know if it's a climber or just a regular bush rose. I bought it specifically as a climber to climb up this trellis. Um, pretty soon the sedum will be um, coming out. I need to uh, go through. I usually chop my sedum back a little bit in June um, just so it's not quite so leggy. Orange Rocket Barberry is looking good. The Blue Rug Junipers. The uh, Gold Finger Potentilla is starting to set bloom. Cone Flowers starting to bloom. Now this poor guy so to show you the difference between the Walters Gardens Spigelia that they've hybridized um, to make a more compact form uh, with stronger stems, this is the native Spigelia marylandica. And as you can see, the Raging Cajun was nice, tight, still standing really good, but the native is really badly windblown. Um, when things start filling in a little bit more, it, it might not happen as bad um, because they'll have support from the other plants. But I guess that's how it goes. Um, I hate to see that, but that is one of my favorite plants. The uh, Flavorette Honey Apricot Rose appears to be getting some type of powdery mildew or something on it. Um, it's just not looking real promising this year. I don't know why. I just received that one through a mail order um, earlier in the season and got it planted. This stuff here started coming up. And I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's um, some scabiosa that came back, self-seeded and came back from seed. But it is getting a bloom on it. So I'm wanting to say it is with as many blooms are on it. But I figure I'd just let it go to bloom and see what happens. And if it's not what I'm expecting, then I'll uh, cut it back. The uh, gray out juniper is nicely loaded with juniper berries. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Huh? Now, you need to get back inside, okay? All right. Well, don't play in the water right now, okay? All right, the daddy video is garden, okay? Yep. The uh, black-eyed Susans are starting to bloom. I'm surprised they're not 
laying over too much. No rocks. Amber Jubilee Nine Bark is looking good. So is the Kodiak Black Deer Villa. Along with the Quick Fire Fab Hydrangea. And then all the seedlings that I got planted earlier in the season. Or basically a couple weeks ago, actually. Cool. Did you line you up some rocks? Make sure you put them back. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, go inside. You going inside? Are you leaving? All right. Push. Push. Yeah, you pushed it, didn't you? You pushed it, didn't you? Go inside. All right, let's go inside. Okay, I'm back. I had to... Let my kiddo in the house. He's looking for his uh, his tablet. He can't find it. So, yeah, I think the garden's really coming along. It's getting there. I need to add a few more perennials. Just let some of these shrubs kind of fill in. Got some penstemon here surrounding this uh, berry white hydrangea. With some uh, creeping thyme. And the zinnia seeds that I direct sowed are starting to come up as well. Golden Spirit smoke bush is looking good this season. The uh, first edition's Eclipse Hydrangea is still looking good. It is, it does get a little puny towards the evening um, before the sun ever reaches behind the house. But I just come out, water it a little bit, and it perks back up once the sun gets off of it. <clears throat> The uh, Toast Up Aha Hydrangea, showing a few little blooms this year. Got some orange butterfly weed, some bee balm, some agastache. The uh, Fairy Trail Bride Hydrangea there is getting eaten up by some... Uh, Canadian thistle I need to get in there and weed out as well um, as well as some uh, I don't know if it's bindweed or if it's the uh, honey vine milkweed um, but yeah I need to come in and weed all that stuff out as well I just haven't had time to do it all yet um, the prairie fire crab apples putting on some growth this year and hopefully it'll maybe bloom next season um, I haven't got any blooms on it yet so I've got Kodiak orange deer villa right here and then over there was the uh, Kodiak red Stella de Ora Day Lilies are looking good. As well as the Forever Goldie Arborvitas. The Chicago Hardy Fig is looking pretty good. Lambs here has gone, gone to bloom. Okay, let's go back out to the front of the garden here. 
Um, I've still got winter sowing containers to get planted. Still got a bunch of seedlings to get planted. Between that and my photography hobby and everything, I just haven't had a whole lot of extra time um, <laughs> in the middle of taking care of the four kiddos. But we just got a bunch of random perennials in here. Some uh, day lilies getting ready to come up. Some uh, uh, bee balm, some Shasta daisies, got another spirea. The Shasta daisies are really starting to take off, as well as the Proven winner Super Tunia Bubblegum Petunia. That thing has filled that pot in no time. Got some Golden Jubilee Agastache there. I'm hoping we'll I'm hoping we'll uh, come up and rival the uh, Chasta Daisies there a little bit. Let me show you off this uh, bee balm that I started from seed a couple of years ago. And my only remaining Agastache um, butterfly mint there that I started from seed a couple years ago. All the other ones have died out already. And it looks like this bee balm might be struggling a little bit. I haven't been able to sit out here and do a whole lot of photography in the front garden this season because I just haven't seen hummingbirds or what I like to photograph and I just haven't seen any this year. Um, got a couple of mahogany splendor hibiscus there. And I've got opening act romance and opening act blush flocks. Red Hot Poker is done blooming for the season, it seems. And all my lap, my uh, Gomfrina that I started from seed is starting to try to bloom. Um, this one here is Lavender Lady. And I've got Strawberry Fields back in there. Golden Globe Arborvitas are looking good. Yeah, Boom Chocolata Geranium is starting to bloom as well. As well as the butterfly bushes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this garden tour. I got to get back inside and um, take care of my kiddo. My wife's taking the other three, three to the swimming pool today with Memorial Day. Um, the pool opens. It's a little cool for that today, but so let me give you a little overview here of the front garden. And then a little wide angle. And that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I uh, hope you join me for the next one. Thanks for watching.